Hi guys, I am in the middle of arranging my cricket balls in an orderly manner. How would you arrange them? Well, different people would arrange them in different shapes. Some of you want to arrange them in the form of a triangle, while some of you want to arrange them in the form of a square. I would probably arrange them to form a rectangle. Did you know that the carbon atoms do the exact same thing? They tend to arrange themselves in different shapes in three dimensions. This property of an element to exist in different physical states is called allotropy. Depending on whether the carbon atoms are arranged in a fixed pattern or in any random manner, the different states of carbon are classified into crystalline allotropes and amorphous allotropes. We are about to learn more about crystalline allotropes of carbon. Some examples are graphite, diamond and fullerene. In graphite, the carbon atoms are arranged to form hexagons and graphite has many layers of such hexagons piled one on top of the other. In a diamond, the atoms are arranged to form a tetrahedral structure. These repeated and stacked tetrahedral structures form the diamond. Pretty cool, right? The last crystalline allotrope of carbon is called fullerene. Fullerene has carbon atoms held together to form a sphere. Different fullerenes can have different number of carbon atoms. Some may have 50, some may have 100. So you see, while graphite, diamond and fullerene are all made up of carbon, they are completely different because of the arrangement of the carbon atoms. Thus, allotropes are the different physical states of the same element showing striking differences in the physical characteristics like strength, appearance, as well as conduction of heat and electricity. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.